So the V5 battery from VEX is bigger, better, and better than ever, but it does occasionally run into some issues. Um, if you treat it with the tender love and care that it deserves, it should last you a long time and get a long life out of it. But occasionally you do get these weird red LEDs, these error messages, and you're just trying to see uh, what do they mean. So we head over to the VEX website. Those crazy kids. Head over to the help section. Go to the hardware troubleshooting under V5. There's a ton of great articles, but the one we want to see is how to interpret V5 errors. So here we can see just whatever error message you're getting, it's all there. It's going to describe how to fix it, what it means. But if you want to see a little bit more, you can use the uh, V5 battery medic to really diagnose what's going on. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. The first thing you need under V5 is the V5 firmware tool under products. Go all the way down. And there's a Windows or Mac version. It's just a standalone V5 firmware program. You can upload it through VEX code, but the V5 Battery Medic is only available through this uh, application. So I open it up. It's real simple, just a firmware update screen. Nice, I'm up to date. But what I want to do now is hold down the Shift and V keys and then click on the V5 Brain icon. And that will bring up this um, bootloader menu with the Battery Medic icon. I click on that and I run Battery Diagnostics. And if you're plugged into the brain, you should see the program just immediately start up. All the cell voltages come in. We see green lights everywhere because this is my battery. It's, um, it's currently working well. Um, so this is what you should see, something like this. And this is what you shouldn't see. Um, an example of a bad cell, a dead cell, getting a low voltage or overvolt errors. Um, and that kind of shows you that something's going wrong. So hopefully this gave you a couple more ideas of how to maybe fix your V5 battery or even just determine if it is dead and beyond saving. And the first thing you want to do if you're having issues is just use this pin-sized reset button located on the battery. And besides that, uh, you should be all set to figure out what's going on with your V5 battery. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We do have more V5 help um, with VEX code and other programming webinars coming up on our website. You can check out the details there. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.